Hi guys, this is Andrew with rockclass101.com and today we're in for a really special treat. We're gonna be sitting down with Joe Souza. He's one of the co-founders of Kanilea Ukulele and he's gonna be answering five questions of which two came from you guys. Now it was really hard for me to pick two questions because we received over 70 excellent questions. So if your question was picked, then congrats, because you won an extra entry into our $1,800 Kanilea ukulele giveaway. So if you're new to Rock Class 101 and you are watching this video in November or December of 2018 and you have not heard about our giveaway, then click this link right here to find out more about how you have a chance to win this sweet Kanilea ukulele. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the Q&A. Question one, Connie Lea just celebrated their 20th year of business. A big congratulations. Can you tell us a little bit about your history and how the process of building ukuleles has changed over the years? Hello, Andrew, great question. Actually, the process of building an ukulele has changed tremendously throughout the years, kind of similar to life in general. You know, 20 years ago when we first started Kanilea Ukulele, there was no cell phones, you know, there was pagers, yes, but at the time, there wasn't our lifeline like how we consider it today and how we employ technology into our everyday life. Same thing in the ukulele shop where we're able to get the exact tolerances and achieve a whole new level of accuracy that really was unattainable to us 20 years ago. So traditions, technology, yes, it has made a big difference in who we are as Kanilea Ukulele. Question two, this one comes from Tim. Is there a specific reason or advantage as to why Kanilea incorporates bridge pin styled bridges into their designs? Aloha Tim, that's a great question on why Kanilea ukulele employs the bridge pin method of fastening the string to the soundboard. Now for many years, if you ask an ukulele repairman, the number one repair that they were dealing with was that bridge wanting to pop off. So what we've done with the bridge pin method is we're able to take all of that string tension, all of that energy, and get it redirected into the soundboard and onto the bracing of the instrument. As you can see here, with the bridge pin method, we're able to take all of that energy and put it right onto the soundboard. It also makes changing the strings a whole lot easier. So even though it does take a little bit more in the building of the ukulele, it makes a world of difference for the final experience for the ukulele player. Question three. One of my favorite things about Kanilea is the crystal clear clarity each note produces. No matter how fast I finger pick, the instrument never sounds muddy. Can you tell us a little bit about how you are able to achieve this? Great question, Andrew. And really, it's a whole bunch of different components on the ukulele that adds to the final tone of the instrument. So when we look at our true bracing system, when we look at the shape of our instrument, to exactly the placement of each of those frets, they all equate to what is the final tone of the instrument. And by making sure that we're very precise and accurate in those different placements, it allows us to get the clarity, the projection, the volume, the sustain, all of those key components that we look for in a finely crafted Kanileo ukulele. Question four, this one comes from Kay. What is it about your TRU true bracing system that makes such a difference to the intonation and sustain of the instrument? Aloha Kay, thank you for noticing our true bracing system because really it is at the heart of the Kanilea sound. And with intonation and that being a very important part of the playability of an ukulele, in this case, the bracing system plays a more important part on the final sound and the sustain in the instrument. So in our true bracing, we do a lot of very unique steps. And in this case, these relief components that are part of the true bracing system gives us the strength, yet also the elasticity or the ability to vibrate, which is exactly what we're looking for in the final tone of our instrument. Question five. Kanilea is known for their use of Hawaiian koa wood in their instruments. Koa is endemic to Hawaii, as in it is only grown there. One of the coolest things you guys do is to plant a koa tree for every Kanilea sold. What does it mean to you knowing that you are helping to preserve the environment? Well, Andrew, our environment is the most important component to who we are as Kanilea ukulele. And truly at the essence of who we are is the restoration and the caring for our native Hawaiian forests. Because really we as a people, 
whether we are Hawaiian or just as a good citizen of this planet, really is gonna require the work of all of us to look ahead and see how can we care for our planet. Now, our little contribution of planting a koa tree for every ukulele we build is a very small facet to what's gonna be needed to really restore our earth. But in this case, it's a step forward that allows us to actually care for our native forests. And yes, we do make beautiful all koa ukulele. But in that, we also restore, replenish, and ensure the life of our koa trees so that we, as ukulele builders, or as just wonderful people of this planet, will be able to appreciate a koa forest in the future. So thank you for that question. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the Q&A with Joe. Just I want to give a big thanks to him for taking time to answer our questions and a big thanks to you guys for asking some excellent questions. So if you'd like to learn more about Kanilea Ukulele, I'm going to go ahead and put a link to their site in the description box below. And if you're new to rockclass101.com, please stop by our site and check us out. We're a community for the ukulele enthusiast, someone who's passionate about learning to play ukulele. So there's actually over 250 ukulele lessons on the site now, and this is a really good place to start if you'd like to learn more about our lessons and our community. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.